Here's a diagram of the shift linkage for a manual transmission on an A1 platform Volkswagen. So that would be like your early 80s Rabbit, Jetta, Scirocco, Pickup, Cabriolet that used the 4-speed or the 5-speed transaxle. This is the rod that is attached to the shift lever that's between the driver and passenger seat. So then that rod goes through this shift rod bearing, which is a spherical bearing that lets it rotate as well as move in and out. And then it clamps into this thing called the selector lever. And there's a difference between the four speed and the five speed linkage. So one of the problems you run into if you've got a vehicle with a four speed transaxle Number one, it's hard to find a replacement, so if you can't get the old transaxle rebuilt or it's too expensive, there's many more five-speed transaxles out there. People will buy the five-speed part and then assume, hey, I'll just put all the five-speed linkage pieces on and I'm set. But the one thing that gets them, this part here is attached to this shift rod and that's attached to the firewall basically. This shift rod bearing is clamped up underneath the body. This rod runs through that bearing and this piece here is clamped on to that. There's a difference in this part between four and five speed. So if we look here, this is a part that VW apparently made at one time. I've never seen one of these so this is this clamp right here, and that's where the shift rod plugs into. This A position is the four-speed ball stud, and this B position is the five-speed ball stud. And the reason for that, that connects to this rear selector rod. So you rotate this rod, and this selector lever swings back and forth, and that swings on this little bell crank here side to side and then that pushes front and back through this front selector rod into the transaxle selector shaft here and that's what shifts between the groups of gears so you've got first and second and then third and fourth and reverse like well, actually it's reverse one two three four so there's three selection ranges in and out, and then you can go side to side. So first gear, second gear, and then you have to pull or push that selector shaft into the next range, and then you get third, fourth gear. And if you push it all the way the other way, you get to reverse. But in a five speed, you now have one, two, three, four, five, and then reverse way over here. So you need to move this shaft farther to get to fifth gear and reverse, which means this thing needs to move more, which means this thing needs to move more. And the only way to make this move more is you have to have it pivot higher up from the shaft. Yeah, so this is a selector lever off of a five gear linkage and here's where your rod would sit and then there's this ball piece that sits in there and that's what pushes this back and forth and then when you twist the rod this thing twists side to side and what I've done here is I've kind of duplicated this Volkswagen sketch here so that black hole is where the four speed ball stud would be and that piece of metal would be cut off right there. You'd only have this much metal. And I think the problem is that customers run into is they've got a four-speed vehicle. They yank the four-speed transaxle out, and then they pick up a transaxle at a junkyard or through a rebuild shop or someplace. They get the transaxle, and then they can buy all these linkage pieces for a five-speed. But the one thing that doesn't come with the transaxle is this piece here that was left in the donor vehicle. So we get a lot of customers that have one of these that need one of these. And these parts are really hard to come by. So what we do is 
we make a kit that lets you do this. So right here is our selector lever extension. So we make a piece that you can attach on here. It would fit in the hole left after you remove the ball stud that would have been there. And then it clamps on here. We have a clamp and a bolt and that holds this piece in place. And then we give you new replacement ball stud. So you put your ball stud in the end, you put your bolt and clamp in here, and that clamp then locks this extension piece onto the old part. So to install this, what you need to do is if you grind this back, you can see where the stud is. There'll be a little separation line around there, and then just center punch that and drill it out. It's about an 8 millimeter or 5 16 inch drill bit. Just drill enough of that out to where you get through the weld penetration and then you can pop that stud out and then bolt our extension on and you now have a 5 speed selector lever because if you don't have that you won't ever be able to adjust the linkage to be able to get over to fifth gear. You can either get to fifth gear or you can get to reverse, but you can't get both of them at the same time. So we have a lot of frustrated customers calling us up and asking if we can help them with that. And yes, we have a, a little piece, you know, like I say, you've got to do a little bit of work. I'll cut in a picture showing how to drill this piece out. If you have a drill press, that makes it easy but you could do this with a cordless drill if you wanted to. Just need a good sharp metal cutting bit and a center punch. Drill that hole out and then you bolt this thing on and now you have a five speed selector lever made out of a four speed. The other way you could do it if you have access to a welder is you could just cut this piece off right here below the ball stud and then get a piece of uh, steel flat bar from a hardware store cut a piece that's that much longer, it's roughly two inches, weld it in here, and then you would then move your ball stud up. So you could do, modify it yourself if you have access to a bandsaw or a cutoff wheel and then a welder. So if you're doing a four speed to five speed conversion, we can help you out. Uh, the other thing that you might run into with a conversion like this is if you're going from an A2 or an A3 transaxle over to the A1, some of these brackets that bolt on to the transaxle, like this piece here is different, this piece here is different, this bracket here is different, and this bracket and bell crank or relay lever is different. So you need to keep all of these brackets and whatnot from your four speed. These are bolted onto the transaxle. If you're getting a five speed from like an A2 Jetta or Golf, something like that, it'll have different brackets attached. There's generally the holes available but you need to grab these pieces off your four speed and then move them onto the five speed in place of the A2 or A3 brackets because they are different. Don't just yank the four speed and throw it away. <laughs> you know, make sure you get all of these little pieces off of it. And if you're pulling a transaxle out of a vehicle at a junkyard, get that piece and you'll save yourself all this conversion headache. Just grab that piece and you just loosen that bolt and pull this thing off. We have shift linkage parts. We can replace this plain shift rod here with a weighted shift rod. We have all metal versions of these two pieces. We have a replacement for this ball. We have an extension here for the relay shaft to give you a short throw setup. If you need them, we also can get you these neoprene washers here. I guess they kind of help seal up under the rod end here. So that rod end will clip over this ball, and then that neoprene washer seals that up. So we've got those pieces, and then you can see, like, this ball stud is starting to get a little bit rusty. The plating's worn off. We can get you replacement ball studs. They're the same diameter, the same length. 
except they bolt on instead of weld on. So we can get you that. We have the shift rod bearing. We have the early style. We don't have the pre-1980 style. That just had like a big grommet there. But we do have the 80 and later version, which has the spherical rod bearing in there. So we can get you that piece. We can get you the bushings for this. We can get you the shift linkage pieces. Pretty much rebuild everything and we can help you convert your four speed to a five speed. So we'll have a link to our web page in the video description and also in the end screen. There's a lot of information there, but these types of conversions, they're not just straightforward. It depends what do you have for pieces, what are you missing, you know, what are you trying to do. We have explanations for all of this, but we don't know ahead of time what your particular situation is. So yeah, hopefully that helps clear up the selector lever from for a 4-speed to 5-speed conversion. It's a simple little part. If you can't cut and weld parts, but you can drill holes, we can get you the part. Anyway, I hope that helps clear this up. Yeah, if that piece were still available from Volkswagen, that would be part you could just order. But I don't know if this is actually the part number here or if that was just a conceptual sketch. But if you have a four-speed part, we can help you make it into a five-speed. So yeah, if you have any questions, uh, contact information on the web page. You can find that link in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching.